Marvel Marvel movies took it to warp speed in Star Trek. And we now co stars in the ABC sitcom Selfie. Please welcome John Cho! A trek I've blazed. Um, trekking and blazing. Trekking and blazing. Oh. New track. Yeah, too bad. Trekking and blazing. Trekking and um, blazing. I think we could do it. I wasn't a, a big trekkie when I grew up, although as a kid, uh, when I saw George Takei on television, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, this is uh, like 1980. Right. You know, when I came to the States in 78, and uh, there weren't that many Asians on television, so we'd call everybody right. from the other rooms and get in here. There was an Asian man on TV happening <laughs> now! Happening now! And it's gonna go away, I bet! Uh, hey, imagine how the brother stuff. <laughs> you know, the brother's always been a great man. The Asians made it sometimes. <laughs> well, that's why, you know, that's why it matters, I guess, when, when, when it happens. Mm -hmm. and, you know, when, uh, when you see Ladies First, Ladies First on TV. It can happen. It, it can, can happen. happen. It can happen. Um, what, what are you most recognized for now, though? Um, it's still Harold and Kumar. That's <laughs> <laughs> cool to me. It's that classic. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, you know, I think the thing that was supposed to be the weakness of the movie, which is uh, a Korean guy and an Indian guy uh -huh. as the leads, turned out to be what made it memorable and what made people dig it. Mm -hmm. Now, I think, um, mm -hmm. hey, hey. Um, the characters were underdogs and so were the actors. And uh, I think that maybe the people uh, like that about the movie and like rooting for the underdogs. Right. Yeah. Um, you were born in South Korea. I was, yeah. And then you immigrated here. That's right. And you moved to the South as well as the Houston, North. Texas, yeah. Houston, yeah. H-Town. H-Town. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like coming from Korea here? I guess it was a culture shock. I grew up in uh, Seoul and we, at the time, didn't even have a... That's me. You know, I'm going to tell you something. I think, I'm pretty sure my mother wanted a girl. <laughs> This though, right? The half, the tip of the. Uh, <laughs> we didn't have a uh, refrigerator, you know, and my mother would have to go to the market every day. If we wanted to eat chicken, they, you know, they had to kill the bird in front of us, and we took it home that day. They it had was to kill like, it in front of you. Yeah. Um, so do you remember that? I do. And we didn't have. And a how bathroom. often did you eat chicken? Not very often. <laughs> oh my God. That's Mama, don't do it. Don't do it. something that many of us, I've been blessed with the opportunity to do, but many of us would love to be able to do, which is to go to the White House oh, and yeah. Yeah. have dinner with the President, and you got to take their bag. Yeah. yeah. Which is pretty cool. I just, yes, yeah, it was, a, it was a real honor. The Korean President was uh, visiting, and there was a state dinner there, and uh, it was our first father and, first and only father and son trip together, oh, wow. so it was real special. And, I, this is a total surprise. I'm glad I didn't know this before it happened, but we were sitting, you know, at the president's table. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, and uh, both the South Korean president and the and our president uh, gave toasts, and when President Obama did his toast, he stood at a little podium at the end of the table, and he raised his glass and said, cheers, and everyone clinked glasses except the president, who, because he was the only one standing, my father, um, seeing this, uh, decided he should help, and he, he stood up and cleaned glasses with the press. And uh, I love that. We, we watched it on it. YouTube later and had a had a big laugh. We have a clip of it. Take a look. Yes, we do. We got it. Papa Joe. Come here. Just clink everywhere. Clink. So, new sitcom, 
um, yeah. selfie. I'm so excited for you. Did you see that? It's going to be awesome. Tell everybody what selfie is about. Karen Gillan is a Scottish actress who plays Eliza Dooley, who's sort of the self social media obsessed narcissist, and she has thousands of followers but no real friends. Yeah. And um, she comes to me, a marketing expert, uh, for help to become uh, a real, real life person. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people need that. Yeah. Um, we right. have a clip of it. Let's take a look. Really? Curry says maintaining eye contact makes people think you're listening to them. I matter. Even if what you're really thinking about is whether or not Jay and Yonsei have a prenup. Necessary. What are your thoughts on that? Of course they have a prenup. There's a billion dollars on the elevator. I see. Well, good job pretending to listen. And why don't I hold on to your phone for the staff meeting? Sure. Let me just... Uh... Mm. All yours. You could have just said no. with it. I Thank wish you, you the so best, best, best success with it and, and the best to your family. Make sure you check out John on Selfie. It's on Tuesday night. don't kill the chicken! Don't kill the chicken!